Alright, all right, so now that the race is starting, I can actually crop this a little more. And, uh, make it so you can see more of the race. Alright, let's, we're doing it. I guess, unless you guys want to see right. uh, me and Chris. In five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, who two, wants to see us? One, so here's what I'm going to do, actually. Something special bit. about this mode is it's also known as open okay. mode, where the uncle is already the basically is dead like and Zelda is saved. Really good. <laughs> Even and if it looks Patty like our runners are going to be starting off trying to undermine their chance That was a real quick. <laughs> Um, one of the parts about the game is, you know, you have to find the um, seven crystals in order to get into G-Tower to kill Aghanim 2 and kill yeah, Ganon, and we saw at least two in the light world, as far selling? as I know. Absolutely. But it was XLR we also have both of our players buy. doing the so exact same beginning strat, where they're picking up a sign and going to check Dime on our uncle, who was selling a bunch of stuff, but he had an AT-2020 that he was selling, and I was like, oh, I want that. But it wasn't USB. But it was XLR, yeah. Yeah. So I bought this one instead. Oh, nice. Technically, I think it's a nice one. But today we're going to get a bomb capacity upgrade. How many of those are there in the game? There are six plus five bomb capacity upgrades and a seventh, ten capacity upgrade. Too many. That, yeah, that, too many. That seems like too much. <laughs> we don't want to help our runners succeed. We want to give them a challenge. We got a save and quit from both players. What are they Where's the game play? audio, dude? Okay, we got some route divergence, guys. Absolutely. So Where's Chris the game audio? Take the better route, because he's Chris, not Andy. Uh, you can start from Sanctuary or from Link's house later on. Once you save the old man from the cave on Death Mountain, Death Mountain becomes a save and quit warp as well. So it's important to get up there as soon as possible, depending on what items you get and what the best route is. That's something that's really cool about these randomizers is that a lot of it comes down to on the fly there we go. problem solving. Okay. But yeah, these, this layout is super slick. I like it a lot. Where you can go, what you can do, what's the best option in terms of how many items you can get there, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, and the partial reason for Andy's uh, routing choices, uh, one of the things you definitely need in the first area of Kakarika Village is bombs. There's our I believe three locations that you have to bomb open, eventually more. So uh, the route he took, there's always a guaranteed 50-50 chance of dropping two bombs. Um, and uh, we'll be seeing Chris Ozoan taking the route from the north, checking the Lost Woods area first. So let's see. Now, in past versions, Kakarika Village has been kind of pretty, this white line. pretty stacked, I'd Hold say. On. Yeah, it usually has a lot of items that you'd want to pick up. But we were able to kind of spread items out a bit more so that it's a not so stacked and you end up having to do a bit more this particular version of the open mode that they're playing is also a swordless right, mode this is fine which means our players will never find a sword in this game um they're going so to earlier out, there's not too much to talk about we're just you know doing stuff say 20 on them those are where the swords would have been had almost they actually had them. That, was that was that was close <laughs> just one number off the other goal of the early game is to collect enough rupees to be able to buy the bottle vendor item and should send my layout have to enough speed to gaming. be able to get into the Palace of Darkness and collect Sora's <laughs> item, which costs 500 rupees. So basically, they got a lot of stuff to keep track of. And they can't see the tracker or anything, which is pretty impressive when it comes to doing these runs as quickly as Andy. So and we had laptops next to us. The tracker thing that you see in the middle of the screen there, they, that's all in their heads. Yeah, generally a lot of runners will We had trackers. With, we know, had our own tracker. personal trackers that we could um, use. It wasn't like that. It was just like the normal one you see on my stream. It's nice for, you know, when you're streaming, um, like doing races for your viewers to know what's going on, where <clears> you're at. Um, but yeah, keeping everything memorized in your head is generally difficult. And we got... <laughs> Shut up, Patty. We're about to see that over on Andy's side. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, if you... <laughs> <laughs> but so yeah, we the interesting thing is we, we haven't really found any, like, quote-unquote required items yet. All this stuff has been nice, <laughs> while Boomerang debatably nice. I don't know. It's Depends. the blue Boomerang. Love it the Boomerang. Boomerangs, I mean, you know, <laughs> it does, it, 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 it stuns enemies, so that's a start. It also kills Stolfos Knights, I found out, when I ran out of bombs the other day. You know, I forgot that they got the Boomerang. Ooh! We got the gloves! And, and the, the flute. flute. <laughs> All right. Cocktail. So yeah, the crowd is pretty loud, yeah, yeah. but at, at this point, you can't really tell what they're Cat cheering for. And uh, like once the once the cheers are getting like fewer and more far between, um, having a little chat with the old it was a little hard to figure house, out so or like to assume what they were cheering we had for. A special race where Christos basically lost a lot of time because he forgot to check this one particular location which had the bow. Yeah, I had a laptop to my right. Chris had a laptop to his left. You can miss one item. And, well, that is some value right there. 
100 for Dude, my boy, hey, my boy, the merchant, GG. my boy, the merchant, crazy. giving me a hot 200 free rupees. Well, so this is interesting. We we have a glove and a flute. Flute kind of the only really thing that opens up is Death Mountain because normally you would need the glove plus the lantern to get up to Death Mountain. But with the flute, you can go straight there. But we still have a ton of overworld left to check first. But it'll be interesting to see if either of these players go up there. Yeah, and all that stuff I said about the old man, the save point, completely useless now, so that's cool. <laughs> this will also uh, yeah, we could hear the cheers. The cheers, were, the cheers were really, really loud. Yeah, and you'll so. see players go down to, like, uh, the desert area for a quick check. You know, a lot of times people put off... Uh, there's a particular cave down there called Agina's Cave, however you want to pronounce it. A lot of players will skip it. And uh, when you have the flute, it's a it's a quick check to go down there and grab that and then save and quit. I was so okay going in. I was hoping so, I got the dark link spray. If you're on team because... Chris in the audience here, can we get a, a nice big round of applause, big yell? <laughs> and if you're on if you're on team Andy, just stay quiet, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Patty. There's always thank you. There's always a lot of. Uh, a lot of similarity at the beginning just because going to Kakarika Village, Kakariko Village. Oh. <laughs> I remember So that. Chris had an agreement. That's, that's Lucy. another one, yeah. Yeah, he lost uh, a particular race had, because he forgot to check right there. It's an easy one to no, no, no. <laughs> We had to talk to both of our, it's our almost, it's almost specific like the, NPCs the that talked like about to have us. fun with people that run randomizer a lot. I, no, not at all. Is it is it an honor to get your name in there? I think it is an honor. It's Even if it's often based on a dumb that you do? <laughs> is that a good thing that you do? No comment. No comment. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Andy, now in the what we coined the term the South Shore area, and it looks like Chris is doing this <laughs> We'll do, Dark Man. I'll be sure to let um, him know as soon as possible. We'll more than likely be heading over to, like, Mini Moldorn Cave next, which... Uh, yeah, Christos and I both have an NPC in Kakariko that weapon, talks to us. But they both bought bombs. Or that so talks about us. That one on their first try, unless they're bad, we'll find out. I think both of our players should be able to clear that one. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I would be very concerned. The, the game assumes that you can kill most things with bombs alone. It's not very nice. Did we mention this is swordless? <laughs> we did mention that this is in fact swordless. Our players are really in a search for a weapon other than bombs. There's no swords? There, there are no swords in the swordless game. You gotta um, the sprites were donated for, but uh, the top two... Down. We got another bomb. Is he going to get the double? Ooh, he got the double. The two oh, the twofer. With a bomb drop, too. Oh, a little too early on that one, or a little too late. The immense skill coming oh, from Oh, and Andy. another wasted bomb. He's got to be careful. Ooh. And he's... Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's see if Chris has an easier time in this room. Dude, screw Moldorm room with bombs. It sucks. Oh, our reward. Um, oh, but, we went so underneath. Yeah, the, a big 20. A big 20. A heart piece. The moon pearl. Oh, baby. Oh, and half magic. <laughs> Really nice um, so yeah, they were. It was a bid war, but the top two sprites were so, were Pearl, used, and it was just random which one item. we got. Kind of so that. I was hoping for so Dark Lane because I I've used that sprite a lot. But Mog was a good sprite. Most importantly, to, to get to the Dark World and not turn into a bunny. Absolutely. Or whatever it is you turn into, given yes, the, the different sprites. With the different sprites, there are different. Yeah, Chris and I probably aren't diverging too much this early. As well, um, we see both players also going for the Ice Rock Cave. Now you know this is another place that sometimes people like to skip and. If there's nothing here, you save some time. If it's something important, eh, kind of. It's just, luck. it's very interesting. Uh, that, no, the seed was uh, completely uh, random. Neither of them can see each other's screens. They have no pool. idea where they're going, where the others go. <laughs> they have no idea where they're going. They have no idea where the other <laughs> player is going. Is this blindfolded? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's just really interesting to see both of them essentially take up to this point nearly the exact same route. I wonder, I wonder if they planned this, or is that just because of the flute? I think it's, it's uh, ten seeds were picked uh, or generated, both top -tier runners, um, um, and then of this, of the randomizer to be able uh, to out of those ten, kind of two were scanned quickly to see which ones were just completely trash and well, could okay. potentially not. Um, what we saw there was what we call the fake flipper. Um, not cut estimate. Pretty big deal. And so those got removed, things, and then out of those eight, three uh, got picked and play tested to make now, sure they were the beatable. Has like and a, then those the three randomly, logic, one randomly got picked from those 15 minutes before the race. Do stuff without usually minor using minor glitches. You yeah, gotta break that logic. So oh wow, we got a mirror in the back of escape, and more importantly, a single arrow. A single arrow. <laughs> Only one of them in the entire game. Uh yeah, I'll be in the energy tournament. <laughs> oh, All right, so at this wow. point I was like, huh. 
a it, sequence broken they book. They always say video games is like escaping reality, and it, it really goes to show you that that's true. Andy which is, is now which... literate in the video game. <laughs> <laughs> he has the Book of Medora, which will allow him to read uh, basically the two tablets as well as get into desert if well, he doesn't have a way uh, to get to Unbeatable seeds are not generated, but because the logic has just been released sort of pedestal. on Ooh, Tuesday, yeah, they wanted to make sure there weren't any issues with the logic. Because that can happen. The code that gets implemented in an update can have an error in it. So it was just checked to make sure that there weren't any errors in so those specific scenes. So earlier, Andy had jumped into the water through a screen transition without the flippers, which you normally need to swim. Uh, but with the moon pearl in hand... <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. With the moon pearl in hand, he was able to do what's known as the walk on water glitch and swim up into the waterfall fairy cave and collect the two items in there by just leaving and coming back in. And he's also, like, when you find, when you're doing the water walk glitch and you get the boots, it just makes it even more, like, even better. Absolutely. So here I went to the wrong spot. This game's a broken mess, essentially. <laughs> you can see me so shaking my head at myself. what the heck Good. just happened there, it gets way worse than that. Not, not necessarily what they're doing today. Um, if you want to look into it, though, there's a lot of different uh, speedrun categories. Yeah, the, the logic is still no glitches. Just it's just, using you the know, you can use glitches break the heck if you out want of the to. Game and do the most ridiculous things ever. Um... Fake flippers being a minor glitch, obviously there's major glitches. There's so much you can do with this game. Just start walking through walls, clipping through corners, stuff like that. Um, there's actually randomizers that take advantage of that too, which are always fun to watch. I'm, I'm not nearly good enough <laughs> to even right. pretend to know how to do that so, stuff. But I don't remember. There's a lot of resources. I picked up Sank like Chest that. after I did the front of Escape. You saw that fake I got really lucky like, oh, actually. I could have been super screwed there? by that. Absolutely. The rabbit hole goes but thanks, much Ricard. deeper. And a good one to start out with is just like overworld glitches, just once you get the boots and then you just fucking the guitar if you feel up to it. Where's my it, popcorn? It's a very satisfying feeling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, Bad Dazzy with the 16 months in a row, thanks a lot. going to go for the fake flipper, so Andy's little advantage um, he had earlier. Actually, was, where's the... You know, kind of a little bit short, but um, I'm gonna move the alerts over on down Andy's here. side, it's a little dark. Why is it that way? Why, well, is, why is it dark? He's doing what's known as dark room navigation, another sequence break. In fact, I don't know if these players are actually following the sequence of the game at all. Um, they're just kind of doing whatever they want, anywhere they want, and uh, he, I believe oh, he's standing the old man right there in the mountain. Looks like it. Yeah. Now, if there's any important stuff for stream notifications, yeah, I'll exactly. just... He really wants that oh, save point, yeah. but he has a warp to that exact spot anyways. <laughs> Generally, get through the dark South Nam, here's your you popcorn, fall up now. you'll have a little sparkly trail behind you. This is the uh, 18 months in a row link, I appreciate it a lot. That's why you saw him throwing out the blue boomerang. That was his, uh, his guiding light. So the dark room. What do they call that? Booma location? Booma. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who says that. Is that you? Grandpa only had $50 of birthday money, so nothing exciting there on Death Mountain. Heading up to Spectacle Rock. See what's up there. Only a heart piece on top, but you know what? Uh, Lantern was in Turtle Rock. Neither of us got there's it. There's a good chance of getting. Oh, oh. Chris, come on. Oh, man. here we go. Oh, we got our He's first He's doing hover. it. <laughs> no way. <laughs> The only hover so I dropped Andy did right, right there, there oh. was cheat. <laughs> as long as that's the only hover he does, we're fine. We're, yeah, we Chris don't have to, We don't have to get on him for that. So another <laughs> interesting thing about when you're in the fake flipper state, if you take damage, you immediately die. And yes. that would be really bad if Christos had taken damage before picking up the boots here. Yeah, because who knows if he would have gone back and tried again. So. Are, are we just going to gloss over the fact that Andy just, like, walked over a pit? No. Yeah, we're, 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 um, yeah, I think people already, like, expected that. They, they already know, right? I don't, <laughs> you don't want to talk about There's it. only, like, 150, 200 people. Like, you know, yeah, it's, it's, no, it's no, I'm sure all of them know. We've okay, all, everyone we've all seen it. It's, 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 it's a brief discussion done. that uh, the game checks to see if you are falling every so many frames, and the dashing takes precedence over it. So while you're dashing... You can trick the game into thinking that you're still standing on something. And he was utilizing that to basically walk in the pit by nerd. dashing. Sorry, so here was a dud. All you have to do is press the dash <coughs> button for one frame and only release the dash button for a maximum of 30 frames over and over and over again while holding I think forward. Patty said that's that. Backwards. Is it the opposite of that? Yes, you release it for one frame. <laughs> press it back down. And I don't know. No one knows how to do it. Can anyone learn how to hover, Patty? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there, there you go. Don't listen to the lies you hear. It's impossible. <laughs> so we saw on the Ether tablet just some couch cash, so we're not really getting any value out of that book so far, and we only... So I didn't want to do item in upstairs in here. So like, I was, I was debating what to do. And he a few hits from that mini Moldorn. I decided to just bail. About? At least think about leaving. 
good idea. <laughs> look, look at him. Look at him turning his head. Uh, another <laughs> note about the tablet and the Master Sword pedestal. Well, at least the tablets, anyway. Because you don't have a sword in a <coughs> regular game. You need the Master Sword or better to be able to get the item there. Um, in Swordless, you need the hammer. It's the next best thing. It's magical. It has something to do with MC Hammer Pants, I think. I can see that. All right, and we got our first play over into the Sahasrala Eastern Palace area. Or no, second play. We saw we saw him earlier. The hammer was in here, I think. I think Christos came over yeah. here. I don't I wonder think if there we'll, was anything interesting. We'll see the play into Eastern itself, which, you know, generally is, it's a safe play to make, but, you know, when you go in there without the means to complete it, you, know, you, you don't want to double dip dungeons in general. <laughs> I'm thinking that he's going to I decided to, to just since he has. do one rando and then watch this. Yeah. It's, it's, it, let's see what happens. It's also still a sequence. Oh my God! I shouldn't be able to get into desert at this yeah, point. Thanks for the four months in a row. I mean, he's he's, he's already well. broken the heck out of it. Might as well go with it. Oh, we got another green potion on the Who desert cares? ledge. We also saw Chris skipping out on the bug net, so that's... That's how we are. Dude, it gave us so much health. It's also, it's, Not that he's going to need it. In Swordless, it is a, a weapon that you can use to oh, right. reflect Aghanim's mm. uh, balls back at him. That's a, oh, wow, that's a good point. That might actually be required. So the Aghanim fight, you have to deflect the fireballs or the, the spheres back at Aghanim to damage him. And usually you just use your sword to slash them. But because this is Swordless... You should just stay up, Kelsey, and then... The hammer. Or the bug net. And you can just go to sleep I early don't tonight. Think usually I'm the pretty hammer tired. works. No, the hammer actually the hammer works regularly in work in the vanilla game. Normal. Okay, so the hammer and the net both work in the actual normal A Link to the Past game. Um, I believe the bug net was ironically a bug <laughs> and not supposed to deflect <laughs> Aghanim's balls back at him. So I think that that's the reason why no they made it in jokes. Ocarina of Time with the bottle that you can deflect. Ganondorf's shots back at him, and then they kept it going in Twilight Princess. You can distract. Uh, Kelsey uh, commentated one of my uh, speed gaming races. And Ganondorf I think. with the fishing rod. So oh, wow. I think they I messed think. up. I, I could be I wrong. Know. I think they messed. Up. I, they messed up in a link to the. Those are usually like first come first serve. Let's just go so. with it. So now <laughs> they you didn't sign up. They stuff to the final boss of the game in most Zelda games. They wouldn't do commentary to for it. It's, it is. I like it. It's, it's not bad. Ooh. So Chris trying to uh, take care of this hard hat beetle upstairs, and um, Chris struggling with these beetles. Oh, they get stunned. Are you kidding? <laughs> so at this point, okay, fire so rod is a sequence break too, because I don't have flippers yet. So they sequence broke the logic of the randomizer to find the boots, and now that they have the boots, they're able to go to desert and get the fire rod. So they're not supposed to have the fire rod yet either. So they are missing. Something at this so point that they just I completely to forgot that I could beat um, earlier area that they're gonna I completely forgot that I could beat Lanmo here. Probably the flippers, I would yeah, guess. Yeah, it'd be safe to assume it's flippers. probably sitting in Eastern Palace at this point. Because mm -hmm. well, a lot um, of times the game wants to send you into a dungeon you can't complete just to find a required item to get to the item to complete the dungeon. It's very entertaining. It could also be the hammer or the but uh, I, a glove up. I completely forgot, so I was like, I just wanna go check Agna. It's also an option, so but yeah, that's huge. Deeper and deeper. Well, that's the, that's also the thing about deeper. sequence breaking. But, is oh well. Like, it's not like it was a huge time loss. Sequence break a little. You got to just keep on going. You got to keep boom. going with the break. How deep does the rabbit hole go? Exactly. <laughs> before you headbutt into a dead end and cry. <laughs> that's what this game does to you, man. <laughs> and just a big 20 from Agonist Cave. So what do we have left to check at this point? We still have the, your breath that. the three <laughs> potential <laughs> items in the Eastern Palace. Yeah, um, dude. Rando... Oh, rando back seating is always fun. So we're looking for yeah, a Chris almost got bodied by that thing. <sighs> there is oh yeah, yeah. Go yeah. The front See, that's the thing about open mode is that you don't have to go through the entire escape sequence at the beginning of the game. And then once you have the fire rod and the boots and the moon pearl and you're starting to think about going to Dark World, you forget that, you know, Zelda's no signal. sitting in the nice. dungeon somewhere calling for help. Um, it randomizes I'm all well, she's items. Not down there. She's so NPC insane, given items, overall like there. visible <laughs> items. Um, Vtorp took her out of the dungeon, put her in the sanctuary. <laughs> it randomizes uh, and crystals and, and pendants. Waiting until this point to go check it is smart. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. That, you know, Andy and eventually Chris will actually have. Well, there, there they are. The now that they actually have a weapon, instead of using like bombs, um, they'll be able to do it a little bit quicker. All right, so that was like a super big relief because I was like, man, I, I don't want to stay out of sequence too long. And while they're so that was that was a good feeling. Now would probably be a good time for some donations if you have any. 
Absolutely we do. First of all, here's one from Vega, and their comment is, Dang, son, where did you find this? I mean, really, where did the pug farm find all this money? But here's my match donation like I promised. Vega donated $1,360 matching oh, yeah. that community donation. Oh, boy, Vega. Also have $70 from In the Name <clears throat> of DT working like hard back there on the tracker Dory. for the stream. Says, hey, guys, here's $5 for every crystal that will be collected. <laughs> That's 14 Think dorm. Uh, let's see. We have Anonymous with $25. It says, donation to Andy's choice. Pug life. <laughs> and Pug life. here's $25 from Cross Product. He says, good luck to Andy and Christos. I don't want you guys to get too far off track, but I'll donate an extra $25 if at least one runner talks to the NPC sitting at the bar. It was like the Charlie Brown on Link. So we had a... Uh... Andy, go ahead and pick up some blue mail using the bonk rocks, which yeah, there's, is really um, going to help them out, although they seem to have a fair amount of hearts at this point. I think our runners are probably going to be relatively safe from here to the end of the run. There's uh, there's logic put in place to make I'm sure that every seat is beatable so that nothing is not is locked behind anything you can't access. Big piggy needs love. Well, yeah, that... Oh, that's... Now that's who, interesting. Who knows? Who, that could be a thing. So there's... For those of you that might I'm not thinking know, real hard when that game, happens. Uh, half, well, item half magic in the normal game that you get by sprinkling magic powder into a little bowl you find in a cave and a bat comes out and gives you half magic. Uh, there wasn't a couch because they wanted they space magic, for the... So <laughs> they, they A, wanted to make sure there was enough space to, like, reset up for the randomized race since the randomized race was and they might different. Magic powder and they also didn't want the commentators to be right behind powder, us just in case we the could hear them. Aghanim in the top of Hyrule Castle, which is a Luckily, though, they'll know that they don't have to do that just yet until they get... Fuck you. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, 1,000 biddies, Patty. I appreciate it a lot. Very clean fight there. Uh, I'm glad you liked it, uh, to Crowley. Until they get a lamp and or, well, as well as a way to get to Aghanim himself, which would be either the cape... So Chris got the desert hammer. crystal when he was supposed to. Oh, yeah, because he can or when he kill should the have, little spark dude me. that blocks the entrance with the hammer in swordless mode. Absolutely. And the generosity of your heart. Yeah, Chris picking up his first crystal. Bloody that was a very petty. clean land mola fight. I mean, when you have fire rod and half magic, it's just what? Easy. Shots each. Easy, Easy peasy. No big deal. And there they are! Uh, the Titan's missing here. Not Hammer. Officially gives Andy access hammer to the was, um, which no. opens up Fuck a you. whole can of worms in terms of possibilities on where to go next. Hammer was Lumberjack. Yeah, you know, Emo Saru with the 1,000 bits. It's very funny. Thank you very much, bud. <laughs> Dude, Patty's always you're, the favorite. Patty makes my runs pretty good. Pretty big deal. Pretty big deal. Yeah. So we're uh, we could hear some of the really loud cheering, uh, Quern. I consider going straight to ice here for the swag. No, not at all. Oh. Okay. So a very important item was just found in swordless mode. You can hit Ganon with a hammer. It's something we enabled. Um, there was actually code that said you couldn't hit him with a hammer. And we're like, well, you need to be able to hit him with something. So we let you hit him with the hammer. The only problem is in the final phase, you can't hit him with the hammer. Or it's really, 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 really hard to do so. So the silver arrows yeah, are actually required to be able to kill Ganon. Like Yo, the original. Zurai, thanks the for the host button. button. Appreciate a lot. So that is a huge <coughs> to pick up right there. But right now, all you can do is, you know, chuck them. Just chuck in arrows. I'm glad I did this dark room so well, honestly. So we still have to find the bow. Uh, what else? Cain of Samaria, obviously the hammer. Um, we haven't seen the Dark World pendants yet, so we don't know exactly what dungeons they have to do. But if Turtle Rock is a uh, is a crystal, then um, we fight. did a little bit, but Dragons we ended up pretty much ignoring everything we talked about. And I, there's you can't really talk about that kind of stuff, honestly. It's special. Lots and lots and lots. Andy, Wendy, on Andy, Andy, on Andy, Andy, on Andy, Wendy, ah. That little twenty. The cyber angel thing reminds me that there is no sword. Like we talked about some potential things, but like without knowing what's going to happen in the seed, like there's so many things you'd have to talk about and like situations, things like that. We're probably entering from. We just decided to just. Village of Outcast section, where we'll find Thieves Town and even Skull Woods, and Skull Woods is a little fancy this time. Now that you know swords aren't required. 
We had to make it so you can go to Skull Woods. Absolutely. A lot of people forget in open mode that you need a sword to cut through the curtains at the back half of the dungeon. Wow. Pendant Meyer and Pendant T-Rock, so... That's really good for them. Really good. <laughs> or really bad. Or horrible. <laughs> it's depending so here I needed magic. How awful I re I'm really glad I remember this, because I was like, oh shit, I should probably get this magic. <laughs> so, we'll see. I take so, no credit. I, I'm, I'm already <laughs> expecting a bow in, t in Pendant T-Rock. Like, it's... Every time. Not, nothing, Dude, Willard called it at 25 like, minutes in. Bow and Pendant T-Rock. To Turtle Rock. My boy Willard. Dive all the way down to the eyeball cave, dash in between all the lasers, only to find that the very last <coughs> chest in the dungeon just sends you back out of the dungeon <laughs> to Eastern Palace to finish it. How fun. Um, I wasn't really sweating Aghanim, um, because yeah, Aghanim was uh, lamp locked, so until we got the lamp, I didn't really have any reason um, to Especially if Chris it. decides to full clear all the potential items that he can get in Eastern, or if he immediately bails after getting the Titan Mitts. Um, it's a, it's a gamble to skip out on it after you get what you need to get in the Dark World, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. And so far, nothing going on in Skull Woods. We still I don't have know why I paused. I think I paused to see if what I had got, so if I got the map or something. People being able to do these randomizers, especially Swordless, so quickly, is that we're sitting here with three brains combined, and we're still struggling to come up with, <laughs> oh yeah, where can they go? What can they do? And we're not even playing the game. Absolutely. So these guys are playing the game without a way to cause damage, and the whole time they're going through this, executing all of these rooms so well, they're constantly racking their brains. At this point, I didn't want to do be the, best way to go the statue pull room, because A, I wanted to save magic for Mothra, and B, I was just hoping I'd find the last item in, in the second half, I'm which I did. I'm so impressed and so happy to be a part of this. It's so great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to have you, Patty. That was sincere, I promise. <laughs> Patty with the rare compliment <laughs> wasn't necessarily to me. Well, it was it was a general Patty, compliment um, to me and Chris. Is, are we gonna get that pedestal check right? Patty now? wouldn't actually compliment uh, he has all the me. Like individually, to go ahead and check that out. Oh, he's Dude, this freaking Moldorm. <laughs> that freaking Moldorm. I thought about just damaging him. So I'm like, no, let's try to juke him, and then it just went super is, downhill. <laughs> really don't have to worry too much about. That was really funny. Um, generally, it's what eight shots eight with the fire rod. Shots with the fire. As long as you don't keep hitting him into the spikes. Mothiel is a little broken, just just in general. We all know it. He knows it. Yeah, they did, they did not do a good job programming Mothra at all. He, I think I think it's a wonderful fight. They so fixed it later. Anytime you hit Mothula <laughs> into a spike, it negates any damage that you've done to him. I think that's that's an excellent way to code. I was more irritated that yeah, that Moldorm took that my fire on Given that information, um, they decided, hmm. Than I was if with the Moldorm. If he doesn't take damage when hit into a spike, why would we not just cover the entire room in moving spikes <laughs> and a treadmill. <laughs> Send it to print. Yeah, Mothula is pretty nice this fight for me. All right, this is looking pretty good so far. It's oh, he's, he's being so nice. I know. So nice. Yeah, oh, he was super down. nice to me. Easy. Super nice. There will be, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we get to see, just for our own amusement, we get to see Chris have just the worst moth of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I want Chris to win, but I also want to see just a really awful, mean, horrible. What's up, Star Community? <laughs> Looks like Chris Yo, is going to just dip right into Meyer to find out what the entrance requirements are, and also check three chests pretty quickly. So Chris went to check the Meyer area way before I did. Looking at Andy when he checked before. Absolutely. Uh, it was so fast, I didn't see it. Was was it Quake? It looked like a Quake medallion. It was Quake to medallion to get into. Uh... So there, there was me showing off the bunny sprite. Chris said he might have forgotten to do that. We, we agreed to show off the bunny sprite. Um, I thought they just played Final Fantasy. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I'm going to go now. Have a good time. God damn it, Patty. <laughs> Take your pineapple. Nice to follow. <laughs> So, okay, with Meyer and Turtle Rock, oh! with Meyer right. and Turtle That's Rock being an uh, pendants. capacity upgrades, so what's going to happen is Andy's going to have to get all three pendants That's to come back for the arrow capacity upgrade in order to beat the game. It's pretty important. <laughs> um, sure but yeah, the likelihood that it was going to be something useful is pretty low. It's rough. You know, everyone wants a pedestal seed, especially the runners. They love... <laughs> especially the runners. <laughs> Yeah, you have just crushed the hopes of some of our donors as well. <laughs> oh, no. A lot of pedestal comments up here. Let's hear some of them. 
<laughs> oh, okay, sure, why not? Here's uh, Blue Green Mikey with a $500 donation. He says, I've been excited for this race ever since the AGTQ schedule was announced. The link to the past rando community is the best in all of Hyrule. Let's see some key sanity appearing at the Summer Games. Oh, Pedestal God. Hope. Oh. oh. No. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, Nemesis with a great comment here. What the heck? Also donated $500. Yo, Kelsey, so incredible. 16 so months to Twitch Prime in a row. Thank you very Thank much, you Kelsey. for your extraordinary you. charity. I have no, been an AGDQ and SGDQ viewer for many years, and for the first time, donor. I admire your work very much. No, you're it's hoping it's not a, a progression item, Chris. Because if it's a progression item, like if it, if it was the bow or something like that, the whole then I would have had to so beat all three pendant dungeons to, to go get that item. In hope of a pedestal race, many greetings from Germany to the crew of AGDQ and the randomizer. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, so it sounds mean of the seed when we put it that way. <clears throat> so, uh, any of this information on the upper cave finding out that there's a bee in a bottle there. Best time to be here. Probably won't be coming back for it. With my what dying breath, I give you this sub. All right, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chris got grabbed, oh my god. Chris got grabbed by the wall master. Oh, Was it intentional? Sucks. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> we know that there is a... Two months uh, pop like champ, nice haircut. Well, we've already seen one earlier with the, uh, the bottle and the book, but a... Catch me on the right, <laughs> coaching Blackie. The mushroom. <laughs> Uh, but thank you very much, Zebra, for the eight months and all years for the two months. Appreciate it, you guys. Hey, Kelsey. It's the same kind of thing as the magic powder is before you give the mushroom to the witch. Can I up the res on the video? I cannot. Oh, maybe I can. Hold on. A different item, and they don't know what it is yet. Although there is a possibility that Andy may want to hold on to that mushroom for a while. Given that he knows that the magic powder is at the lumberjack, this is as, as if there good is as I can magic do. Bat, there is a I way think. to glitch the magic Hold powder. On. Into Let's uh, theater mode. I can just make the window bigger. Yeah, hold on. Let me just move some shit around real quick. <laughs> okay. Um, one second, please. So this is the webcam. I didn't, I don't know why my YouTube was auto 480. That's weird. Um, why is that so small now? Oh, because I moved it. Okay. Apologies, everyone. Where's the other, where's the other window capture? That's not it. What the heck, dude? Okay, hold on. All right, is that better? Pretending to be the mushroom. Or vice Does that look better? There you go. And um, I think that looks better. He might hold on to it for a little while, depending on whether or not he can get the cane of Samaria. I really hope we see that. That'd be awesome. I will interrupt your uh, your strategy meeting for a moment just to announce that we have beaten the record of donations from AGDQ 2015. <laughs> Also, the, the staff were kind enough to inform me our next goal is the total that we achieved at Summer Games Done Quick 2017, which was $1.79 million. <clears throat> okay. We gotta keep that up. We got this. So, after Thieves Town here, or after Skull Woods, I almost, <laughs> when I went to go check the, um, the, uh, more so, money. Ooh, time for our Christos <laughs> moth fight. When I checked the, whatchamacallit. Go up. More. <laughs> what are you doing? Moth. 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 <laughs> oh my so god, Patty. Hey. Aww. <laughs>
Yo, thanks, Dream Roku. is over. Oh-ho! Andy going for the not-so-good um, boomerang after he already has the good one. After I beat Moth and checked all that, I yeah, went to so I just the like Bumper Cave, and I almost went yep. to Graveyard Ledge there, but I decided against it. Also, Kelsey, I got my I got my case. I got my case. The flute boy here, who normally gives us the shovel, not giving us much of anything. Twenty rupees. We're now for Andy, one rupee away. <laughs> Checking Zora, <laughs> <laughs> so a big twenty is pretty important. Absolutely. Yeah, generally Andy is making the route down to go check what we like to call pipe cave. Also, shout out to seven hundred tournament. That was kind of the general the blank there. cave that had just a lot of stuff. You said you wanted um, to keep it there. Let's I'd, see if we're gonna get some hype today, guys. That. I have to ask you, who is we? Collectively? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the general us we. Your your place is a lot that's colder a, than mine, that's, also. That's so. Hard. Come on, keep it going. Oh, and Chris That's is, pretty good. Chris has turned in his uh, mushroom was and gotten a bottle. Uh, How terribly exciting was lame. that cave was. I fell asleep a little <laughs> bit during that. That's unfortunate. Then, um, I think, Vitor, if you noticed... I think I'm about to do mushroom here. ...checked the mushroom. Yes, he, he went ahead and just turned that in. He said, I'm, I have no idea where the powder is because he doesn't actually know where the powder is. He doesn't. Chris does something that can pay off or can you know be horrible and he doesn't check the item up under the lumberjack tree so andy knows that the powder's there but he oh well and andy just threw his mushroom away okay well, so hey blue potion though all right they are there well andy is banking on there not being anything of importance in that bat cave but chris just has no idea that powder is on that ledge was my favorite run? Um, I really enjoyed uh, Dragon Warrior. That is so possible. I want that to happen. So to to play along with your hypothetical, oh let's, let's walk through Yo, what Andy, to smile. for that to be a Yo, thing. Yo, Keku, thanks for that much. Horrible and run, awful. Hope your travels oh. home were were good. All we need would be the cape, the lamp. Go to Aghanim one, but with no sword or hammer. That means you'd have to do. Chris would bombs. have to go back and get. The bug net as well. Mm -hmm. So to be able to deflect anything yes. at Aghanim. And then once Aghanim's defeated, the lumberjacks go away, opening up the tree. The Yoshi's Zombies was really good. I felt bad for Calco owning himself in 6 8. But he redeemed himself in SMW. The dark world, SMW the race was pretty solid. The hammer peg because they don't have the hammer to jump into that hole, powder, and get the hammer from the bat. That is possible. That sounds so glorious. I know. <laughs> Dreams do come true. <laughs> yeah, from Zora, we only got a heart container as well as digging game. Uh, this tracker was handmade by Lange, one of the Wait, GDQ staff. This is our next progression. Where are we going to go? What's next? We do have. But a lot of people will use Emo's tracker to. Hand, um, our players could to, uh, swim over and to try to replicate uh, this layout. I really like check, this uh, what's layout. Here, it's real man, nice. Go all the way to the catfish. You offend a me, Patty. Smorgasbord of possibilities. Absolutely. Smorgasbord. Um, they could go check the first chest in Swamp Palace. That's a good one. Always a chance of a hammer hiding out in there. I don't want to think about that. And we even got. <laughs> For Andy's side, we got the Thieves Town play. Now, the scary thing about going to the Thieves Town without the hammer is the big chest in here is guarded by a bunch of uh, switches or whatever you want to call them, where you have to use the hammer to get to the chest. So, not having a hammer if there's a required item in there. <laughs> yeah, Potato that Pete, could, thanks for uh, the two months Twitch Prime in a row. Appreciate it a lot. But, but, there could be something <laughs> in Thieves Town. No, not yet, Miguel. To go somewhere else in order to get the hammer to come back to Thieves Town to get the thing out of the big chest that you need. To go to Aga to get the... <laughs> <laughs> Is every one of these going to end in to go to Aga? <laughs> to go to Aga <laughs> to get the hammer they already have. Absolutely. I gave Patty a ride to dinner, yes. Multiple times, so, yeah, actually. We got a bit of a route divergence. Chris already turning in the frog slash blacksmith. Um, Did run away from that bunny ring. <laughs> to get the temper toward, but of course those are randomized as well. And taking the purple chest, which you normally get a bottle from in the vanilla game, which of course is yeah. Well. I I love having Patty on my my <laughs> couches <laughs> for commentary because he uh, a little bit quicker of a check he always have the makes my runs game. funny. And I I'm Whilst like you know, I don't mind being serious here and there, but I generally enjoy my runs. Just 
because we want my runs to be more of a fun experience. Oh my god! Great job, that AGDQ this year. You planning on going to SGDQ this year? Is put in an item pool and randomized among uh, thanks for the nine months Twitch Prime stooges. Uh, SGDQ, I will most definitely be going to if I get a run in. I don't know if I'll go if I don't get. Uh, probably, but not for the whole week. We could have had a dog. What kind of a dog is it? I don't know. No one really cares. First time in a long time, Keku was a wheel. I'm sorry, Keku. Patty, Patty got the the blunt of it at our IHOP dinner, where he was surrounded by three couples. This is gonna be big for Chris. <laughs> and he's this just back in the corner. A lot of people like to put off purple chest for a very long time. Oh my goodness. Chris, Chris, Chris takes the lead. <laughs> uh, what exactly. was that miss? Where was the Chihuahua joke? So yeah, we got a bit of a route divergence. Chris already turning in the frog slash. Where was Chihuahua joke? Hellway. Blacksmith. Found the links to the past dungeons. Loot, but whilst checking this route okay. down here, it's gonna be a little brisk walk. So to, just because people might have stopped into the live stream while this is going on real quick and they're wondering why is there a Moogle running around the links to the Aww. past dungeons, uh, this is Zelda Randomizer. Basically, everything in the game is put in an item pool and randomized among themselves, and there was an incentive for what to change Link's sprite to. So, uh, now that you're caught up and everything makes perfect sense... Yes. <laughs> we could have had Zelda. We could have had a dog. What, what kind of a dog is it? Like I don't know. Wild no wild no one really cares. <laughs> 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 He got off the joke. That's amazing. My boy, he a. <laughs> oh, holy mother of God. <laughs> holy shit. Andy Wendy on 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 uh, this is Zelda right, here Randomizer. We go. Basically, everything in the game is put in an item pool and randomized among themselves. And there is <laughs> I'm for what to change Link's sprite to. So <laughs> Thank you very much. Now that you're caught up and everything makes perfect sense. Yes. <laughs> we could have had Zelda. We could have had a dog. Uh, what kind of a dog is it? It's like I don't a know. No one something? really cares. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Patty. Right, nothing really of value happening up in Thieves Town yet, but this is going to be big for Chris. If this turns out to be something big, a lot of people like to put off Purple Chest for a very long time. Oh my goodness. Chris, Chris takes the lead. <laughs> 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 He's actually going to be set up to go check a Bombos tablet, which is always a little more exciting than the Purple Chest. Just because the purple chest is awful, no one It no has one nice things. It. Part of the joke is that I wanted to use the pug. Hey. <laughs> All right, so he'll need to come back there. And instead, they <laughs> just gotta find that hammer. They were nerds. That's about three hundred rupees usually. That's a what horde. A, that's what a horde is, I think. Hmm. Oh, they do. Is that like? I didn't know that. In general, like a unit of measurement, a horde is three hundred. <laughs> three hundred rupees. So, like Donkey Kong Country. That double boomerang. Exactly three hundred bananas. Was sick. Yes. I was like oh, super surprised that I double boomerang that. Becoming a definition of horde now. <laughs> All right, and Chris now about to receive his unhype. Oh boy, I'm excited. Red tunic. Red tunic's not too bad when like. Chris couldn't tell what tunic he had on his sprite. Yeah, because well, I mean, the important thing is he's changed the color of his belt to red, and I believe Link's eyes will be red now. Ooh. So this is important to note. Right now, Andy has no way to actually defeat that boss, because in this boat, you know, the only way you can defeat it is if you have either the cane. I'm really blind, surprised that Chris and I both did this. Burna, which is the blue cane, took blind to a hammer, her or a sword. room and then left because we didn't have a weapon. Stuff, so 
made sense to just bring uh, Blind to the boss room and then bail out because it's a quick, easy way to go back and check that later. Uh, that would have been fine and lost. So we, it looks like you know, we were willing Chris to take whatever. To take we were hoping that I was going to get to play Roy and uh, Chris would have to play the pug. Or thieves hide it didn't end up going Trevor. that way. And, um, I won't correct you. That's okay. <laughs> He'll be leaving oh yeah, it was a good play. I was just surprised that like we both did it. To get there, um, especially Andy with Hammer the being there, it's going to be. <laughs> Andy's going to be uh, doing some new stuff here, possibly no, doing that Southern High Rule movement that Chris already just did. So it looks like they're just kind of swapping places. Yeah, it's it's probably a good, good time, time for donations. For a great donations. time for donations. <laughs> it's a good time for donations. Good. My Wait. favorite word. So I've already right, been south. A donation so. from K Farnung. They left us one hundred and fifty dollars and simply said, "Looking forward to seeing a link to the past randomizer during prime time." Thank you, K Farnung. Yeah, I don't so know what I. I don't remember what I got. Nothing. A $1, nothing. One thousand dollar <laughs> donation. Said uh, as always. Had to get my donation in during Andy's yeah, race. Was real close. Lots of pug farm love to Andy. Good luck. Yeah, apparently it was oh, the TV. And here's to killing the Yoshi. Like the the capture between the TV. You have some and other the... uh, some other Yoshi incentive uh, donations. So here, here Duck, Duck Moose with one when they cheered, said, my I was pretty and I sure that I was the first one to get the hammer because they cheered Yoshi's real loud. Couple when I got of the hours. Hammer. Luckily, I'm the one donating. Die, you know, Yoshi's it is a key item, so they could have been cheering for all the key items, but I don't know that. I just assumed that I was the first. Um, speaking of some other uh, this bit wars, Anonymous donated $150. And Especially said, with the location. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I, we apologize. For hammer hype, that hammer hype, Doug. No, take it away. Um, so, we were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Normal people get the chest and take it to the locksmith guy, but, you know, this is Andy. So <laughs> he decided, I'm gonna take the chest to North Dark World and check for things, and now, <sighs> poor Chris. Chris still has a good opportunity after this. There aren't a whole lot of spots left for him to go to. I think the reason why he took that route is because I believe he had already checked uh, what we call K45 um, along the way down there. Circle of Bushes, uh, Red Boomerang Cave. The Red Boomerang Cave is where, where, where we found the Red Boomerang this time. Yeah. So that's... I don't know what I was thinking there. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm just going to chalk it up to he's a cheater. I don't know how. Yeah, we could still hear cheering. Was like, like, <laughs> the the announcers we couldn't we'll hear. We'll never be able um, to prove it, but I'm just... At all. I'm just going to go um, <laughs> But when the game audio the went too, dead, we could hear like... Wah, 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 wah. of things now. Like herd enemies. Yes. Like, I actually hurt many of them. Yeah. We being Chris and I. Like, uh, you can now kill a Moldorm or oh, baby. blind. Blind. Um, you can use the hammer to get over to East Death Mountain where there is a smorgasbord, I would say, a of horde items. Horde of a horde of items. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Horde's a bit much. Literally <laughs> 300 items over here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, and, uh, uh, here. You know what? You know what? We, we might. Maybe seeing some more hovering here pretty soon. Oh, too. maybe. There is a very particular cave that you generally need a hookshot to get through. We like to call it the hookshot cave. That's usually what we call it yeah. the hookshot cave. It's simple. The usually a hookshot cave? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm guessing Chris will probably do the same. I don't know. You don't want to get like too much into the very specifics of the randomizer. Like, like you are showcasing <laughs> this to a very, very general audience that doesn't know much about it. Animal so like explaining the basics case. every once in a while is good, but you don't want to over explain that, the basics. 60 things we've seen. So there's 50 rupees on top, 10 arrows. We're getting there. We're getting close to that 300 that you were talking about. Fifth of the way to a horde. It's true. Yeah. If you put it that way. What if there's Cheating an inventory the spot run. for each individual arrow. <clears throat> Think of the possibilities. All right, well, this is huge. If Chris continues this route, which it looks like he's obviously doing, he's going to be getting his hammer pretty soon, so he's not really going to be too far behind. Uh, Andy's showing off one of the more interesting version 1.0 Japanese ROM glitches where when you're inside of a cave... Not a dungeon. Definitely don't do it in a dungeon. <laughs> not a dungeon. Or tell your friend to do it in a dungeon if you don't like them very much. You, you can erase blocks that you're pushing by just spamming the uh, mirror. 
Do you have any idea why that works? I have or no why idea. it, I guess, doesn't work? Hey. Would be a better way to put it. It's so odd. If you, if you press the mirror button while a block is moving, the block just disappears. The game doesn't know what to do. It's probably <laughs> the living sound X-Files that the mirror makes frick. telling you, eh-eh. Uh, so I, I like messed up here. I was supposed to jump down off the, after the mirror, the but, special. but then I went up and I was like, I don't know if I can make it through my warp in time or not. It's a different eh eh. So it's a different eh eh. Maybe. They all sound the same to me. Eh eh. Can't read, can't look in a mirror. What's the Ooh, oh, wait, oh, the, oh. Yeah, the, the double medallions <laughs> there was really funny. Well. Well, there's two potentially useless items. I would like to submit a petition to rename this to Hype Cave. <laughs> Medallion Cave? <laughs> so, so I didn't know that game. Quake was needed for Meyer yet. Chris did, because he went there so much So far, earlier. so good. <laughs> oh. So... Making that Aghanim 1 play. About that Aga play. Yeah, that Aghanim play. It's, it's still on the table. Yeah. They just need lamp though. They still so need okay. Lamp. Hold on. Get a little hold on. Off. Can you let, let's go back real quick. <laughs> so you're gonna see after. <laughs> well, <laughs> after uh, this Moldorm room, I'm just like sitting like there for like five seconds. Look at the camera. Look at me on the camera <laughs> here. I drop my controller See, while I'm editing my HUD, and so I just fucking sit there. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> oh. So just take a look at the so webcam. Making that Aghanim 1 play. About that Aga play. Yeah, that Aghanim play. It's, it's still on the table. Yeah. <laughs> so I just started laughing because I just it's fucking the dropped the controller. The lamp. Oh. Pick it up. A little subtle hover oh. here. <laughs> what a cheater. That's two. Everyone cheers, and I'm just sitting here shaking my head. <laughs> and he's back. <laughs> and yeah. $3,000 from Program Max. Yo, Yo Max. Program X. Thanks, oh, boy. And he says, how am I supposed to heckle Andy if he can't hear me? Hold on. Hold on. I want to hear this. Oh, my God! Um, but Tails with the 15 months Twitch Prime in a row, thank you very much for the support, bud. And Lucian Jacor with the 12 months in a row, thank you very much. Appreciate you guys' continued support. Yeah. Thankfully, Patty has me covered. Good luck to both runners. Here we go. Will Andy do the thing that he loves to do? I, th I think it's almost Yo, a game. Max bucks. Hear it? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. There's <laughs> one. Never thought I so here Chris knew where I was. Because Chris is just smiling. Right. And my name is Andy. <laughs> Playing LTTP. Aww. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> you gotta hover the whole thing. Oh, Andy's arm got tired. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Patty. Thank you for being you. So obviously you're not <laughs> supposed to get those items until you have the hook shot. I don't think these guys have followed the logic at all for pretty much any of this game, so I don't... Nah. Yeah, they're making us look bad. <laughs> I do that a lot, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Right, hey, has please. Andy killed Patty Spike yet? Um, what do they call it, though? Flat Matt, thanks for the uh, uh, 29 months in a row, bud. Appreciate it a lot. Beats me. <laughs> No, seriously, why did they call it that? Do you not know? I have no idea. <laughs> is that like in the like? Is that the actual name of it? We should call it Torch Cave. There's a whole bunch of torches. There are a lot of torches, it. and a big, big rock cave. There's a big rock. I was really cold on the stage. Like you'll see me blow my hands a lot. Find out what the medallion is cold. to get into T Rock is, and it is Bombos, so, which we did get up there. So they're going, they're going to have both medallions they need to get into two dungeons that they might not need to set foot in, anyways. So. Absolutely. Woo! <laughs> So this is my Their first. Inventory is actually surprisingly bare for as much movement and motion they have throughout the open oh and as many dungeons. Grads as on the race, right Andy, 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 yeah. Really Yo, Deluge, thanks for the five months in a row. It's thanks for the grats. If it's spending more time in the overworld, it feels mm -hmm. like. So at this point, as, as as far as we know, the only things they still need. So at this point, are I knew I needed to beat Desert. Shot, the bow. 
I don't know if they actually need Canis Maria yet. Um, Canis Maria is going to be needed if they need to go into Misery Mire, which, or they need to beat Misery Mire, right. yeah. rather. If they need to enter Turtle Rock. Or if they need to go into Turtle Rock. Or, or if they don't need to do either of those things, but they need to go to the right side of Ganon Tower Basement in order to find the big key. Yeah, so absolutely. there there are a lot of places that they have to be able to avoid in order to not need the Cane of Samaria, which quite honestly doesn't happen ever. <laughs> it's, it's pretty rare. Um, that's the one thing when you get, like whenever you start up a new seed and you see which dungeons you're, are required, you're already starting to think, what items do I not need? And uh, how soon can I get to this, what we like to call, go mode? You guys might know what that is. Uh, I believe it's the time when you have enough items to be able to go to the end of the game and kill Ganon. No, that's not it. Oh, okay. <laughs> what if you're bad at the game and can't kill Ganon? Then are you ever in go mode? No, never. Okay. We have Christos making a play on Ice Palace. Now we're getting some real divergence here. Yeah. And with Bombos, Fire Rod, and Half Magic. Oh, hi, Bombos. Yes. Well, that's a fun little tile there. What's that all about? Uh, Tell us about so that. So recently in uh, Swordless Mode, we had no way of you to actually activate the DMs. You the medallion tablet, or the Bombos medallion inside of Ice Palace. Um, you're not supposed buddy? to be able to do it without a sword in the game in general. Oh, can you but see my whispers like over there? Use it to open up Mr. Meyer and Oops. Turtle Rock. And Chris made well, an excellent point that we should be able to use it inside of close Ice those. Palace to, to gain entry. <laughs> and Thanks, after Patty. a lot of hacking and cracking, we were able to make it so that we could put those tiles right. in there for you to be able to use it, but only in swordless mode. That's all right. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, so that's Chris finding the hook shot. Especially good for Chris. That's Why? good for Chris, but Andy doesn't need it. <laughs> Just kidding. They made you might, a, they, you might for a particular dungeon. They made a gentleman's agreement before this race that before oh, it they reopened the race, they would both have to find Hookshot. So well, and luckily they they absolutely have to find Hookshot <laughs> to get to our. Did you almost sheesh. Ar <laughs> <laughs> he has like seven R's in his name. He it's does. a very weird spelling, no doubt. It's the the boss of Swamp. It's named Argus. So this is interesting. We got some even more route divergence with Andy. First one going into Meyer now. While Chris is able to clear ice and get the crystal, Andy's not gonna be able to clear this because unless we find Canis Maria in here, and we also have to remember it is a pendant, and if I recall correctly, it is the green. No, green pendant is at T-Rock, all right. This is what we in the business call a gamble. <laughs> Chris pulling off a bomb jump there. And uh, Andy two cycling the whiz robe serum. That's okay, Gwen. Okay. It's fine. It's still good. Yeah. No if sword. You, if you uh, don't know, you can line yourself up on certain pixels and no, blast we didn't. yourself over uh, certain gaps. Emo. Um, there's a lot of guides for it, especially in Ice Palace. Yeah, bombs are pretty useful in a lot of these rooms. Yeah. As we've been seeing. Uh, the penguins are really weird because, like, you'd think they'd die in one hit to a fire rod shot, but they don't. They don't know, but they, but they're they scared of the hook shot. And bombs, like... Got that thick coat of blubber. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, this, uh, kind of this is a... Fire. This is like a gut decision. Oh, I was just... Key. Oh, I was just huge. doing it, like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, I'm already here. I might as well. You know, it's oh, a relatively quick check better. without I the cane. That, that was good. <laughs> Um, Ice Palace is also just one of those. Assuming I didn't find it in here, because I wouldn't, I would guarantee not be able to beat the boss. Route it with or without hook shot, you know, you, there, there's a bomb jump in that room that you can do. There's like two no, other I heard potential the, I bomb heard the jumps, um, and you know, you would never use that in any other way of playing this game. So it's kind of fun. There's just playing it normally, where you, where you go through the dungeon, don't bomb jump. That's boring. Got to do the bomb jumps. Got to show off some We also safety. have to check the map over on Christos' own inside <laughs> in case an, he forgot how to get through this dungeon. <laughs> I'm in Ice Palace, right? Yes, I'm in Ice Palace. Okay. Not an emote. I'm going to be anymore, real with you. Unfortunately. Most people forget how to get through this dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> well, something to note. Uh, what did we get? Oh, we got a, oh, a what? Tiny shield for oh, Andy. Oh, tiny shield? Yeah, he's got a little shield. Yeah, a little, a little shield. shield. It's adorable. Oh, a little paper plate. 
Oh, this is, at this moment, I'd like to thank everyone. Give my boy that, uh, EA a big old thank you. For the uh, sprite outs. choice, because, oh my gosh, look at that cute little shield that thing's holding. Mm. <laughs> there are actually a lot of amazing mm. sprites that you can use. Um, uh, what are we up to, like 40 now, maybe? 70. Seven, okay. I think. Unique sprites. It's a lot larger than I thought. <laughs> um, some, something to note that I was going to point out um, both Andy and Chris for those who don't know they're, they're really good at randomizer runs but a large reason why they're so good is because oh they're really good speedrunners of this game um, all, pretty much all the categories for both of them they, they know how to do I know Andy knows how to do reverse boss order um, they do swordless no major glitches Pretty much everything and they have really good times in them too so um, randomizer is fun though because even though skill translates over in terms of execution and movement and all that good stuff that everyone watching gdq is so used to hearing with the, ooh, that juicy movement and frames and ooh um, but also just like i said before the problem solving <laughs> skills and everything like that they, they excel at them um fat girls need love too my boy chris more than andy <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome right, to the so Puck Farm. I hope you're getting any emotes. Other than finding a shield, give Fire was a, a big old thank bust. you. And uh, you know that's it's quite a bit of a time loss there. <laughs> <laughs> My boy Meth. Why is there bombs for in there? So. In Sometimes Swordless, those, kind of those were added to so allow uh, going into a good not needing the fire rod to do Ice Palace. So Chris is coming up on Cold Stair here, and again, with the uh, the tile thing, sometimes you can get down to Cold Stair and you might not have a fire rod, so one use of Bombos, though, and boop, I'll go. No this shield. Is it has really a Swordless exclusive. So he doesn't have to hammer as much and maybe use the fire rod. Well, though he's but basically before in the Swordless, you needed the fire rod to do anything in Ice fire Palace because you can't use medallions truck. without a sword. Oh, nice. A fire truck. A fire truck. Really well done. Oh, there's the other one. <laughs> so the lack of sword so in the swordless randomizer requires yeah, a medallion, uh, a medallion logo a there to use the, it. Uh, second to last. So they added them in the three rooms that require uh, a fire tower. source. Oh, with the little invisible little bridge. Little... No, no. Like uh, no, Bombos does not damage the bumpers. cold stair puffs. Yeah. Just freezing them up there. Just like getting past all of it and using ether anyway, just to freeze all the beetles. Because but he can't because he doesn't have a sword. I'm just saying what I'm a fan of. <laughs> it's about me now. All right. The trek through pod continues when, when there's a small key there. So yeah, when I gone. a lot of times this dungeon will be immediately bow locked if there's an item in that first chest and you don't have the bow. Mm -hmm. So there are mimics in the right side mm -hmm. that uh, it's a, it's a, one of those <sighs> classic Zelda rooms where you absolutely have to kill the enemies to move on and mimics only die oh, oh my god he's, he's, he's cheating gonna do this again <laughs> absolutely so about that bow <laughs> <laughs> i'm really glad i got that first try that felt real good it's not actually cheating i just hate that he can do it <laughs> oh my god normally this is an empty you need Andy to get past to go. those mimics out my sprinkler goes like this we're just gonna let this one. And comes back like. <laughs> uh, burn with the eight months Twitch Prime row. Thank you very much, bud. Appreciate it a lot. I was talking about <laughs> because you need the bow, but no. Uh, it's just harder because it's pick, it's pixel more than likely pixel not perfect. The bow in the back uh, of the, the down cover. I would imagine not. <laughs> now we get to see on Chris's side the blind fight, which sometimes can get a little hectic. Especially when you don't have a sword, but um, you got plenty of health. And I mean, they right have a mail. few magic pots as well to yeah. refill the health. It's a quick fight. It still looks hectic, but there goes blind. Well done for having the hammer. <sighs> the more you play this game, the more you pick up on little things. But what Chris just did there was really actually super cool and super I guess high tech, I guess. Technical would be a better word for it. Um, when you move in this game, 
no matter how lightly you press on a directional pad, Link moves a certain number of pixels. Mm -hmm. um, but you can interrupt that with a sword slash or a, a boot dash tap. So what he was doing while dodging those fireballs is he was moving all over the place, but he was interrupting all the movements with dashes so that he would stop and go in between those little gaps there. So he was super aware of where all those fireballs were going and pressing the dash button in order to stop so that Link didn't go all the way to where the game wanted him to so that he could dodge all that stuff. Wow. Either that or he's an idiot cool. and was just tapping A for no reason all over the place <laughs> and tricked the hell out of him. Just doing a little dance. What he is doing though right now is uh, heading up to go collect the Pyramid Fairy. He has collected the five and six crystals, which in the base game you normally need to have those to unlock the big red bomb here. At I didn't know how I wanted to do this room. room. I think it was 100-bit steel knight I appreciate a lot. And with that, so I ended up just laying bombs all over the place so I could see where I was moving. That fairy is holding for him. And he wasn't just running into that enemy just for fun. <laughs> um, that, as well as using a hookshot, you can set it up so... Normally you can't dash with the bomb. Once you dash, the bomb just stops and starts. The timer shows up. So I confused but, myself um, here by placing the bomb to the right to and picking it up. then dash around with the bomb and it doesn't... You don't lose it. There's just money. So Andy just got something. <laughs> Looks like he got a horde of rupees from the way his <laughs> rupee count was moving there. Um, so dark rooms in More money. Uh, Dark World dungeons can get really fun. So right now he's going through just a maze of short walls with I think and was in five little Rock Dodongos cave. walking around shooting fireballs. And he got through a fine. And we have our own little tiny shield for Chris. So I, I knew that bow couldn't be there, but the I was hoping Hookshot would be and there. And the shields are still progressive, even though there are um, no swords. So now, now I go to Ice Palace. That's why you're able to find different small shields in different places in the game. Or maybe now so if I go to go blind. back now to yeah. where Andy found his shield, he would get the red shield and vice versa for Andy. Absolutely. And also, just <clears throat> shields do kind of play a part in the logic, um, particularly and mostly in uh, the laser bridge in T-Rock. So if we end up finding like a mirror shield or the third shield at some point, oh, Rips, that just... could be part of the logic. That would be for these players. You can hack it, uh, Stooges. At least for um, speedrunners of the game, kind of and load ROMs onto at this it. Point, and at but... this skill level, to be able to just get around those lasers without taking a hit, it's it's pretty. Well, thanks, I can do it, and I am glad you enjoyed good. the GDQ race. So, um, it's it don't plays don't a role. Don't sell yourself so short. I'm, you made not, it. In the you were in the tournament. Oh please! Uh, you had fun. <laughs> again. Oh please! Uh, <laughs> so, getting a mirror shield for these runners would Great more race be an GDQ Andy. I, I need to go skip the lasers, possibly more than it would be. Oh, uh, thanks for the now seven I months can go to the laser bridge. But none of that matters because they don't have the cane of Samaria yet. Right. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves. But they might not need it. But they might not need it. That's like the mantra of this game. <laughs> they might not need it. They might not need it. They got bodied in that phase by Chris blind. picking up his heart container and Andy having a little dance with blind. Good enough. Good enough. Well clap. Could be better. They're, the only thing we're sure of right now is that we need the bow. And the <coughs> bam, okay. So Usually. after this, this is where I do. These players don't seem to care about the land. fat fairy. Dark bet, rooms, no we're, fat fairy. We're past the point of needing like Chris just did. In what the if the palace. lamp is at the magic bat? I'm sorry, the bow. So Chris is the way ahead of me at this point. Ooh, that's that's the last um, hope here. For those of you that are as sadistic as we are, hoping for the worst possible seed, <clears throat> put all your money on bow being at bat. If Chris doesn't go to Meyer after swamp. He wins this race. So now, normally, um, but... for Andy, you'd be able to. If you had the sword, you can do one of the one of the more fun tricks is the hammer dash or just item dash in general. Uh, without a sword, you just bonk right into these little pegs. So we gotta do the slow route of bonking them each individually. Like I said, this game is a. Dang, we got mess. 836 people 20. watching this. Hype. I was really excited to watch this. Just because I didn't putting your get money to down hear on something, why not put your anything. money down on a charitable donation to GDQ to help prevent cancer? Why not do that? You have any for us to read? Sure thing. <laughs> Let's go back to that one I was uh, about to read when Andy had his hammer hype. Uh, it was anonymous, and one hundred fifty dollars was the <laughs> amount. Their comment was, "Please Same as my Rupert Actually, one that is really cool. Same as my Rupert Hell yeah! And of course, they were donating toward the. I'm about to spend hundred though. Does that mean hundred viewers are leaving right now? Uh, 
we also have a $50 donation from OPT Lawyer. And they say, gotta give a shout out to the randomizer crew. Good luck to everyone involved. This randomizer got me playing my childhood favorite Zelda game so much more than I ever have before. Thank you all for letting me be a part of the LTTP rando community. And thank you all at GDQ yeah, for so putting this whole event on. Money goes to not validating the run. Because <laughs> no one really wants to check dude. that chest. They were really good noise Here's canceling uh, headphones, yeah. From so we couldn't see each other's TV. Andy, um, the only noise we could really hear Detroit. was if there was no game Desert. audio going to our headphones, Small we could hear, like, DT, Charlie Indian. Brown adult, course, like, all my rando from the members. commentators, hey, and then we could hear really loud cheers from the crowd. I just had to donate for the race. I Other than that. It. Uh, it's gotta be an epic race. Hope Andy hovers Troll Dorm too, and Christos maybe can too. I'll see you all in the post-race race. Good luck to all of you. Now, please just remember that pedestal is always <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dalai Mama. And let's all hope this isn't a jet seed. From all of us that can't be there, I want to wish did you I know that Willard luck. played potential GDQ seeds? I did not. Thank you. Yes, yes thank you very much. Uh, Scrivo with a $20 donation said Scrivo here. Best of luck to my good friends Christos and Andy um, on their race. I didn't think too much about that because he could have just been killing bosses or something like that. Had some uh, larger donations coming in tonight as well, although uh, every little bit helps. Uh, Roy Koopa with $1,000 <laughs> said good luck to the numpty and pug, but mostly the numpty. Donation to Christos' choice there. Good. <laughs> Eshwin donated fifty dollars and said, "I for one welcome our new randomized overlords." Shout out to the Final Fantasy randomizer community. Let's get some more randomizers. Yeah, there in were future. eight different seeds we could have played, and they picked one. Here's another one thousand dollar donation from Gavin. <laughs> and thank you, Gavin. We appreciate it. They said, I want to donate a dollar for every Games Done Quick run I've watched as VOD on YouTube. Lost oh count, rounded up. <laughs> oh my god! Hey Andy, did you fuck Patty after the race? There was definitely a lot of sexual tension going on that night. <laughs> also, 928937892 RTA 29104128748921074832010. Two three eight seven four one eight two nine three four seven eight nine two eight three seven four eight one nine two seven four eight one eight three four seven three two four eight seven three eight seven two eight seven four two four eight seven three zero two four seven two eight one three seven zero four seven three two eight one seven four eight one two four seven eight two six four seven two six seven six two one seven six five two zero three two one nine zero nine. Oh. All right, Kirby Devastor, thanks for the five months in a row. I appreciate a lot. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, Christos checking out the infamous Swamp Palace, which is not in a place that you would think the swamp would be most of the time. It's more of a sewer palace, but, you know, I'm not going to argue that with anyone. Don't judge. It could be a it could be a swamp palace if it wants. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and uh, Andy making the play into Ice Palace is going to be picking up that hook shot as well as the crystal from Cold Stare. Um, I don't think we've actually seen anything of value in Swamp. A lot of times players like to skip this left side because it does take a bit of time. Mm. Oh, might goodness. be about to realize that he probably should have. But we'll see. We'll see. This chest could have everything. All right, so it paid off pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up skipping left side, I think. I didn't know what to do I'm not here. not gonna lie to you, I was kind of hoping Andy would just like be like, I don't need to check this room. And just leave the hook shot. Because I want him to lose. <laughs> Wouldn't it be better to wish for a player to win as opposed to a player to lose? So not here, I heard no one really, like I didn't hear any cheering. So at that point I was like, hmm. There's Chris probably already know, has um, this. This fight against Argus is kind of Pizza sounds really, really obnoxious when you don't have a sword. So it's it's actually uh, pretty much like turn-based. It's a turn-based battle, you know. It, it, very much so. Because um, they're going to be having to pause, swap to hookshot, use it. 
pause, switch to hammer, use it. I just assumed. You, you see where I'm going with this. I notice a pattern, yes. With how loud the cheering was, I don't think anything could have gotten rid of that religion. For the advanced strats. <laughs> you can't see, but... <laughs> like, I don't think it would have been possible. The crowd was super loud. <laughs> Which is good. That means there were a lot of people that are watching. Uh, but... Didn't happen. It's making stuff up again. I th I'm pretty sure that happened. I, I was right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how could you see? <laughs> Yeah, woo! Andy Hubbard again. Wow. <laughs> I, I actually think they were cheering for Christos not getting sucked back down the stairs on the ice palace. He didn't? He didn't get sucked back oh down the my. stairs. Okay, I'm actually excited about that. <laughs> what? <laughs> so on these right side stairs, when you come up the first time, if you do it just right, you don't get sucked right back down them. But the camera gets messed up normally, and you'll climb up the stairs most of the way the screen transitions and it comes back and it just sends you right back down them and you can't... Yeah, the crowd could have been cheering for anything. It was just me assuming game's broken. that Chris already had the shot because I didn't hear them cheering for anything. <laughs> Welcome to GDQ at night. After dark. <laughs> These stupid guys always get intense concentration. I bet they don't even know that the lights went out. <laughs> Anyone bring popcorn? <laughs> Arr. Arr. Why you be hook shotting me, puffs? <laughs> Put your hammer away. It be me, Argus, holder of whatever crystal it is that I have. <laughs> Seen a little bit of these advanced strats you were talking See, about. It's advanced. It's getting two puffs at a time. Does he go for the trick? Oh, <laughs> getting beat by the menu. Losing there. a few seconds there. Can't have that. Menu sucks. Oh, this was the pausing and unpausing you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Isn't it fun? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's trade-offs to every mode. This is the one trade-off to Swordless. The one trade-off. <laughs> I can't think of any other trade-off to not having a sword throughout the entire video game. Just the Argus fight. Just the Argus fight, yes. <laughs> Good lord. And there are a few options that you can use to finish off the second phase of Argus. Oh, wow! Ooh! King of Samaria! Oh. I, I think that's actually a bad thing, because that just opens up a bunch of extra stuff you probably don't want to go to. <laughs> but who knows? Well, I mean, so Chris was probably that hoping that you know, we, we could still Bo see that being in Meyer to avoid going good. up to Death Mountain. Crystal, it's like, you have to open both the dungeons. He hasn't gone into Pod yet, has he? The, the Turtle Rock uh, is a no, much longer so, no. so he'll probably make the play for Pod. Just to... Mm, maybe. Because if the bow's in there and that's all he needs, he might as well do it. It's true. Oh, that's true. <clears throat> He's probably hoping oh, we're going for to the quick Meyer He's check. He's clear Meyer with the... He can uh, just get in there Mario sooner. There. Because everyone loves to try and kill... Ended uh, up being Chris's... With the hammer and no bow. Oh. Partial downfall. Yeah, that's... That's a toughie. But did we see both the items in there? On Andy's side? I don't know. I'm not watching it. We saw a shield <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah, I think we just saw the shield. So yeah, I only got a shield. Something. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh. It's either at Vitreus. Oh, yeah, no, it's at Vitreus. It adds speaking. mystery. I'm pretty sure. Oh, mystery tournament. <laughs> All right, let's see Andy's cold stare fight. Should be hard. I think he's got it. He's pretty good at this game. Yeah, he's all right. He, I think he'll start off with the fire rod as opposed to hammering. We can only hope. Oh, nice. Never mind. Ooh. It's one. There's two. There's three. Ah, that's fine. Now that audio's not too synced. Audio's all good. Right, so as it stands right now, we have Christos one entire dungeon ahead of Andy. In terms of completion, Christos. Dude, I can't wait to watch this video fight. Though, so if he makes the play for video fight without the bow and sword, first, is fucking. Then that's gonna lose him some ridiculous. time over whatever Andy does, considering he's done that. 
I don't know. I mean, he could have gone to Pod, but he went to Meyer instead. Right. So he might go up to Turtle Rock next. Maybe. As long as he doesn't find the bow before going to Pod, then Andy's... It, it's, it's pretty much anyone's game, but if he does end up finding that bow before diving Pod, then that's going to put Andy at quite a disadvantage. And Good. What's of it? it looks like Andy's going to be making the swamp play. That was a cool strat really by cool Chris. I've never Samaria seen that. What, what happened? Well, he did a Samaria dash, which kicks the Samaria block way off into the distance, and then he exploded it when it was in the exact right spot to be able to kill both the blue Bari and change the crystal switch. But if you can't see time. here, he's a fancy, fancy boy, that Christos. Kelsey Stealing and that. Chelsea are right here. You also have Feeny there and Sakura right there on the on the hot couch right there. <laughs> so this is this is a uh, a good time for some donations probably. Both yeah, players totally. are going through what the other player has done. Absolutely. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Any fair skip to, right there. To give you something to uh, discuss. Uh, I'm sure you were going to cover it later on anyway. But anonymous donated two hundred fifty dollars. Said good luck, Christos and Andy. I'm hooked on these randomizer Yo, games. Up, and a link to the past is the best. Another two fifty if the big key is in chest eleven. <laughs> wow, you didn't even notice, well, uh, Kelsey. I'm sure you'll talk about big key placement uh, as we get closer to Ganon's tower. Let's see. In the meantime, more <laughs> donations. Uh, Wolfman two thousand with a $215 donation. It says, everyone, I've been looking forward to this run all event and I hope you are all hyped for it as well. I'm donating $1 for every possible item location, except one. My donation goes your, to our runners being GDQ? nice Hylians and leaving Moldorm's last possessions alone. If we wanted to be thieves, we would be playing Link's Awakening instead. <laughs> Brina with a $1,000 donation said, I had. And we got a lot of money during this run. I had no idea random Zelda was a thing. Now I look forward to playing one of my favorite games in a new way. Good RNG, guys. And <laughs> JDW42 with a $1,300 donation. I wanted to fit this one in for sure. JDW said, pedestal hype may be dead, but I'll donate another $25 for each time Aga 2 shoots blue balls. Thanks, JDW. And blue we've got balls. a donation here from Dare uh, Hynian. And they say... I think it's up 10% is what uh, Fat Man's Bane said here. since the run ended. Or since the run started, I guess. Uh, Zelda Randomizer has meant Which a is lot pretty nuts because it already had a, few months. a ton the of people. The spring and fall tournaments were a constant companion during late nights and early mornings with my newborn daughter, Lily. It's awesome to get to see it featured at AGDQ. Also, you guys get to, to see the, the, the Meyer Dark Rooms, This too, donation which is goes sick. to the choice of whichever runner reaches go mode first. Thank you uh, for the $200 donation there, Dare Hynian. Are we going to consider the lamp part of go mode? Because we have uh, Christos trying to... I don't even know what room he's in right now. Oh. <laughs> Looks like he's in the third room. Yep. And he's good. He's, good. he's got two more rooms, or one more room of darkness left. Oh, yeah, but it's a joke compared to the other ones. He just dodged a spike trap through a, a block on a switch he couldn't see. And he killed 15 monsters. They don't know this. It's crazy. <laughs> a horde of monsters. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, a horde of monsters in there. Freaking Vtorp, dude. <laughs> uh, we have a $100 donation from Old Man Sunshine. Their comment, loving the Zelda LTTP randomizer. Here's yeah, the, the Bandai Namco. Oh, in a bunch of money too. Thank you, Old Man Sunshine. All right, so... Christos is about to enter one of the most original right. bosses in the Zelda franchise. Let's look at this fight. A literal bunch of eyeballs. <laughs> uh, very unique. No other Zelda game features any close. boss with eyeballs that are a weak point. Um, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure there's not, not a single other one. I can't think of any. Uh, one of my oh favorite my bosses God. from the game. <laughs> yeah. It's a bunch of little eyeballs and one big old big eyeball. Just super scary. Speaking of super scary, having to... Use the hammer in this fight. I mean, he oh, does have red tunic, oh, but he's... I got a blue potion, oh, at least, so that's good. That blue potion. 
<laughs> That's good at least. This is this is a tough fight. Um, usually you want a sword, obviously, but just a bow in general would be nice too. But who knows? The maybe only he, trade off. Maybe he could be <laughs> holding the bow. You never know. If Vidi was holding the bow, I would. I that would have been the last place I went. Yeah, for this fight, you just kind of want to. I probably would have gone patient. to Thieves Town Big Chest before. Oh, wait for them to come to you. <laughs> so Andy fighting the menu to beat Argus. Oh, 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 oh my close. god. <laughs> oh my All god. All right. And now the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> You're walking up into the goo there. Oh, Holy geez. moly, dude. Chris, don't you do this to me. Oh there we go. my god. What a fight. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, sweet, sweet dude. Whew. The coveted pendant of wisdom. Well, fortunately, I guess for Chris, despite, you know, losing a bit of time there, who knows, maybe Andy might go back and kill Vitreus, but we do see Andy actually going back into Swamp to go, I presume, to check the left side or big chest or... Whatever, so I don't know if it's that much of a time loss. We still got a lot of race left ahead of us. It's and at this point it quite literally depends on who finds the bow. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's that's where we are right now, is who's going to go to the right place the right time to find the bow. It could be absolutely anywhere that is called Turtle Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I would assume Chris is going to be... So, we got told off, after he still does uh, need Vitor to check, you know, hookshot looked cave. into the... Uh, has a hookshot. I don't know why Chris um, is going to the Dark World here. But you wouldn't go um, up here just for one spot. One little spot. I mean, there are, you know, a good amount of chests in that cave, so... It's four I, to, Oh, he's going to check... I uh, kind of really hope he goes into Turtle Rock. Oh, he's, he's absolutely going to go into Turtle Rock. You can see it in his he eyes. He hasn't done hookshot cave yet. I forgot. Um, Vitor checked the, the spoiler log of the GDQ seat after like a day later and told us where the lamp was. The lamp ended up being in Turtle Rock. Um, so another fun thing. In the right side, that, rolling um, pin chest. You saw from both players in Meyer and uh, Chris just now in this cave. Um, basically when blocks are moving in, especially this version, um, specifically this version of the game, it, they just they just don't work right. They're, they're real bad. Like Chris just hook-shotted through blocks to hit another block that was static and then Hook shot at a block that was next to a block. He pushed through that block and then ended up inside the block and walked out of it to get through it. It's blocks are just crazy in this game. And then in Meyer, they were pushing blocks and shooting fire. Yeah, at this point there weren't any dark rooms left. Trying. I think someone messed it up at one point. I, I guess there was the turtle room. Uh, a lot of fun but other than that, really. In, no dark rooms uh, worth getting specifically like, that you worth can do searching a little for bit of time. Um, I don't know. It's a fun. It's a fun little thing. Here and there with the one point. So yeah, going back into swamp, there were three items left for me. There was still so the big chest and these two chests both had items, so I couldn't really turn that down. Like bomb jumps and stuff like that. And then so right now I'm like a trip to Turtle Rock. Bomb jumps actually. Or no, I have to check bomb. I check bomb as well. Absolutely. If you've just got your USA pal, whatever you want to call it, NTSC cart of a link to the past sitting around or you've got like a virtual console version of just the normal game you can go to ice palace and learn how to do that bomb jump oh my god I'm super bummed I missed AGDQ and hanging with you and all that jazz. Just about 1 a.m. here in Italy. Gonna eat a sandwich and probably pass out. But wanted to let you know that you're the fucking bomb and here's your sick fucking run, dude. Yo, rocket shuttle. <laughs> Holy moly, dude. Oh my god! Rocket shuttle with a $200. $200 redo donation. Thank you very much, bud. I appreciate it a lot. Sorry we missed you, um, but we will be up in the area again soon. So hopefully when you get back from Italy, we'll be able to to chill a little bit. 
but enjoy your sandwich, bud. Thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it a lot. Glad you enjoyed the race. And that bourbon lab with seven months in a row. Thank you very much, bud. Appreciate it a lot. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rag Shuttle. Goodness. Goodness gracious. All right. Save just, just save yourself Back. a ton of time playing through the game casually. Yeah, I hope it's wine. Rupee uh, hoard collected. <laughs> the heart of rupees. Totally worth it. <laughs> we just saw a uh, moonwalk off of that. It's really nice to always see one of those. All right, All right. we're getting this um, turtle rock play. Here's the big. So play. we actually signaled to each oh, other after I finished that House of Darkness. <laughs> Does it look after like I finished going to the same play right now? Um, oh man, I think he is. He's going right up to Turtle Rock. Oh! <laughs> and he's out. He's out. There it is! He's out of the dungeon. So, okay, that cheer, I was like, shit, Chris just got the bow. Um, so, or yeah, I assume Chris got the bow with that cheer. I, so, I'm pretty sure we might still need a lane. Nah. No, I got So once I got the bow, I was like, oh, okay, so seems to be like the most he's not that far ahead of me. Item. I'm pretty sure. That, I'm pretty what did you do? No, that's also, Okay. Assumed that he hadn't gone into pod yet. Because he doesn't like doing pod without bow. See, I think the big... So, once I found the bow, the I figured it was really close be because I knew Chris probably wouldn't go into pod. The bug net. <laughs> that actually could play a huge thing in the final part of the game. And Chris is awful at using the hammer to hit fireballs back at Agonim. <laughs> so I've seen it so we, were, we, were, we were practicing hammer it's Agonim before really the run. It's really tough to do that fight with just the hammer. It's when you have really hard. Three Agonims shooting stuff at you from different directions and trying to reflect <laughs> one or two of them back at a time. And we both Could you imagine if a race just... of this caliber came down to a bug net? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, the fact that, that he had to do pod, and then also his death to Ganon. He went into Ganon with much less health than I did, and my Ganon fight was really good. We're just sitting up here, the three of us, like, um, what is the worst possible thing that can happen to these runners? Let's talk about it and hope with all our might that it occurs. That's, that's, that's yeah, kind of me getting both here, I was like, okay, Chris isn't <laughs> too helping, far ahead of me. helping the audience understand all the possibilities. <laughs> There's me shaking my head, fucking bow and turtle so rock, of Andy course. Roughly, what, like a minute and a half, two minutes behind Chris, picking up the bow there. Two minutes I, or so. Well, I don't think uh, Andy has to check much of Pod. He already exactly. has gone through That's, it. That, that was going to be my point, yeah. is that even though he picked up the bow a little later. Yeah. Um, okay. That's fine. Not I'm good. Thanks, man. And Chris did. Chris has to go through a lot all of pod right. in order to get all the keys he needs. He needs to find a big key, et cetera, et cetera. Andy's already taken key key to pod, so he can sprint all the way in there. He can basically go to the end of the dungeon at this point. So depending on how long it takes Chris to find the big key and another key here, I don't even remember where Andy the big might key actually was. have the lead. I, I think you might be right on this one. That's and big. he has the bug net. Andy has the bug net. So this could even just come down to a G tower route diver. There's the big I mean, key. The big so he still key, needs you know, he still needs Chris a small key. He still needs key. to get a small key, so he might the babe it. himself. Yeah, he's gonna be going through the the mimic section. Thing, that almost at nine hundred about years. earlier, so we, we do get to see that. Because he's gonna find a small key there too. Yeah, well, there, I there, there was two, two on that side. Mm -hmm. So, well, Chris is a smart cookie, and, and he knows a lot about the logic of this. Generally speaking, a hundred percent of the time, there's at least one small key on that side. And the nice thing is, he can just grab it and just go straight up. Generally That's speaking, 100% of the start. time. Dude, okay, so we're like fucking in wow. sync Dude, right wow. here. Wow. <laughs> Andy takes the lead. <laughs> Holy like shit, Andy's dude. Andy's in the lead by half of a room right now. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <sighs> Andy's in the this lead by a full room right now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. So, I mean, on, here on out, it, we didn't, it's... No, I didn't know he was in pod at the same time. Until we get into G-Tower, then it's all... We both, like, looked at each other for that after I finished pod. That's what makes so I assumed that he was also so in the cutscene. And we, we, we like, and went, we made a of, six at each other. You know, like, I, like I've been saying throughout, it's a lot of problem solving on the fly and routing in your... Or was this crystal number seven? Shooting, but mm -hmm. all of these, they, it, it comes down a lot to 
Who's gonna go left? No, we had to kill Armos right? too. So, right so yeah, end. I I, I signaled six to him here, ways. and he signaled Ooh. six back, and then Absolutely. we did seven That's after Armos. Yeah. So I do know Christos has generally recently been doing the right side gamble more often than not, even though it's mathematically the wrong choice every single time. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, th when, this uh, honestly, they, like, the way this race ended up playing out it's couldn't have been almost, more perfect. Almost similar to, like, a roguelike speedrun, in a way, where you, you don't really know what's coming up exactly. Yeah, thanks, Royalty. But you're really freaking so good So I, I, I tried so to... Do it quickly, no matter I thought what I cape-dashed, but I, the cape Absolutely. wasn't able to be active yet, so it was just like, well, right, let's see who's got the better I'm taking damage. Starting. It's only seven hits to the face. 17. With the more. 17. 17 with the you were close. <laughs> <laughs> I rounded down. <laughs> to seven? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with the bow and the silvers, just a one-shot. Fun little thing about Helmosaur and his helmet. Um, if Helmosaur, <laughs> he, he didn't do it for either player. Yeah, but dude. Helmosaur has an attack where he shoots out a fireball from his mouth. So yeah, I look at him here. Fireballs and those fireballs. And, I, and, he, and Chris looks at me. Each, but if he shoots out that fireball, or there's we fireballs both realize we're not doing ball, anything. And you break his helmet off. They all disappear. They all disappear because the helmet. <laughs> I raised my eyebrows at him, and sprites. he's oh, he did and six to me, and I shook my head. Over the fireballs, so the helmet <laughs> appears as a bunch of different sprites breaking off, and the fireballs just boop, gone. So it's a pretty good strategy sometimes if you have 16 hits on Helmosaur's helmet, to wait. and he stops and starts charging up a fireball. Wait a little bit. More. Wait for like a second oh, wow. or two. Fireball comes out, hit him the last time, then you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, but our players got. Pretty fortunate not even have to deal with that at all. Dang, rip rocket shuttle. That attack. And also fortunate being able to just immediately do pod, mirror, and then finish off Eastern Palace and grab that last crystal. Dude, I can't believe Patty didn't talk about his corner. After all this, you know, we're almost an hour and a half in, and our players are a room behind. <laughs> Come on, Chris, you got this, buddy. We're not playing favorites, right? No. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know if that got picked on the mic, but someone said let's go Andy in the crowd and I just had to I couldn't I couldn't help myself. Looks like our players definitely have plenty of errors to get through the end of this game. I'm not sure if they'll be able to complete it with forty seven it's like forty six and fifty four or something. Here's one hundred bits to looking into your own reflection and the Patty's pedestal head. Here's the hundred with bits all three medallions. Or whatever the heck it is you collect. <laughs> they are, they got three medallions. I know, <laughs> Willard. <laughs> Sometimes I say things that aren't correct. I can't help it. We'll, no, we'll, you know what's, we'll let this. Yo, go. this strat was fucking dope. What's great about this? Um, what I'm doing is just tickling me. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't really have anything to do with the gameplay. Okay, this is important. <laughs> oh. Wow, they didn't even see it. They this, didn't even see it. And he can't hear what I say. <laughs> so I'm still gonna have a ride to dinner. Didn't even talk about it. And later, <laughs> he's gonna watch this. Oh, let's look at Christo's strat. It's take one. Hold man. on. I'm telling you, they. Well, let's no, take you a look know at we'll let this one slide. So you know it's great what? about this whole thing. What's great about this whole thing? What I'm doing is just tickling me. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't really have anything to do with the gameplay. Okay, this is I'm important. <laughs> oh. Andy's taking me to dinner after this. Oh, wow, all his fucking popos lined up. <laughs> so I'm still gonna have a ride. I just didn't want them to spread out because <laughs> shooting them with the bow when they all go different now directions later, is shit. <laughs> he's gonna watch this. It's tickling me. So super tough Armos fight with silver arrows. He missed a few, yeah. but, but he got there in the end. So hold on, let's look at this face real quick. It doesn't really have anything to do with the game. It's take one, man. So I'm looking at so, Chris. Super tough Armos fight with He looks arrows. at me. He missed a few. I put my fingers up to make seven. But, but he got there in the end. And he, we both shook our heads. And so I was like, no, all right, this race is fucking close. They have no idea <laughs> that they're this close. No, no, no idea. I love how you can hear. Spike's laugh. Like, hold on. We're backing up one more time. You're gonna hear... You're gonna hear Spike's laugh. 
out so of everything super else. Tough Armos fight with silver arrows. He missed a few. Yeah. But, but he got there in the end. There it is. That laugh you can hear by itself at the end is 100% Spike no Vegeta's laugh. This <laughs> no, no, no idea. In a crowd of like 400 people, 300 people, whatever, however many people are in this stream room, you can hear Spike's laugh out so of everything else. So shouting out in the room <laughs> where they think the big key is going to be. So we like to play... We're not going to know. We like to play a little game. Call your shots. We like to play a little game. There are 22 chests. One feel, of those chests is gonna have a big key in it. Hopefully, I feel. Hopefully. I feel like <laughs> I'm. I feel like I'm in the Price Is Right right now. Everyone's, <laughs> everyone's calling out numbers, thinking like saying One what. Did the Twitch chat just fucking? Saying what number chest numbers? Numbers. Is gonna be in, in Ganon's Tower in a little while here. <laughs> I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? What yeah, are you feeling tonight? I'm, I'm honestly hoping because they're trying to go through this game as fast as possible. Maybe somewhere after the tile room. Oh my gosh. I'd like to see another Armos fight. That one was too fast. It was I missed it. I see what you did. I see what you did there. It's clever. I want it to be on the torch. On the torch. Mm -hmm. But someone goes full right. Skill based speed run. Uh -huh. Actually, yeah, that's they're, that's, they're really that's close. A good idea. Could be on the right side. Those two chests would be nice and yeah. Most let's, let it, let's let it come down to execution. Not yeah, let's let it, because we have control over where it's going to be. I'm using my, <laughs> using my commentator powers. Torch. Shut up, Willard. Torch. Lionel has it. <laughs> Come on. The enemy outside of Ganon's Tower. Shooting lasers. Freaking Willard. The huge nerd. Files so I'll just go for whatever the 19th item they check is. There, the fist bump. There it is. If you missed it. Has it. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> the enemy outside of Ganon's Tower. Shooting lasers. <laughs> My favorite number is 19. So he was messaging. Okay, hold on. Christos was mouthing to me. <clears throat> Christos is mouthing to me, asking me if I'm done. And I thought he mouthed GT. And so. I said yes, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> but like we were both stopped, so I knew we were both going into. I assumed we were both going into GT, but so Christos thought I was done at this point. Whatever the nineteenth um, item they check is, but no one needs to know that except for you guys. All almost nine hundred of you here. Only you guys know this that he thought I was right. done at this here point. Here we go. Moment of truth. And immediately going in, I said, no matter okay. what, I'm going left after this because one. I've gone two. I've gone right side see divergence here. so many times Pendulum. recently Pendulum. and it hasn't paid off a single time. <gasps> we have our divergence. Here we go. And I know Slow Chris likes to key. play right side. <laughs> but it's I knew that. Enough. So when I got the key, I <laughs> almost changed my mind, room. but I decided not well, to. Nobody ever does. Tower rooms always last. That's just. That's that just that a gentleman's would also be agreement. That's just skill based if it were the tower room because they'd both end there at the same time. That's true. That's true. Wow, Andy not even hovering over the gaps. What a loser. Chris dodging some. Uh... Oh! Ooh. Five. Five? Yes, that was five. If you guess number five, congratulations. Pat yourself on the back. <laughs> If you didn't, sucks to suck. <laughs> well, this is good, though. Chris is at least going to be... He, he got out the mirror, which means he'll be going back to the left side as soon as he picks up that key. Mm -hmm. but will, how much time is he going to be able to save going up the gauntlet? Who's got the better execution here on out? That's all it is. I mean, we're not going to be checking any more chests along the way. Or are we? <laughs> <laughs> or are we? I don't know. Chris could be looking for that. So, okay, so there's the donation incentive for <clears throat> um and he can hope that for validate or invalidate the run. The the and so basically like from Apparently we may have to check one more chest. Yes. From Palace of Darkness on, basically every uh, couple minutes like a guy was holding up a whiteboard be... that said validate it or invalidate it, but it was validate the whole time. So, it looks like we're going to be checking what is commonly referred to as the validation chest. So the runs 
will be validated. So they say. So they say. I thought Thanks. killing Ganon was the, all the validation you needed. No comment. Okay. <laughs> uh, since both of them are climbing and uh, we've discussed the chest, I Yo, just this guy destroyed me. Here. Our friends at the Yeti have chimed in once again with $12,000 for charity. That room fucked me up with that dude's movement patterns. Uh, their comment, Yoshis are animals, right? Well, it wouldn't be a G. But I had a real clean if I didn't restore five, balance to so. a race like that. So they have balanced out safe kill the Yoshis. Uh, can't wait to watch Grand Pooh Bear wreck Super Dram World 2 with Sky Bills on commentary. Well, That's yeah, so they wanted to show it multiple times Don't so we wouldn't it. know. The, the goal got cut off when Thank the first you, player, yeah. or when both players, or no, yeah, the first player got the big key. So they were showing it to us multiple times so we wouldn't know where the other person was. I love you too. I really hope that the mic picked up what they said, because otherwise, <laughs> everyone at home is just going to hear Willard just closely get to the mic. I love you too. <laughs> you know, I really kind of feel left out that both of you have said it now, so I love you too. <laughs> A lot of love in this community, no doubt about that. All right, so this pattern, I was just like, fuck it. We're hookshotting all these idiots. Thank you. <laughs> they were right, completely so spread out throughout the entire bridge. Having some trouble, but he's going to get through all right. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to preserve his magic. Um, he does have half magic and opting to use the right. hammer instead of soft using the lock, fire. Up. Soft lock, soft lock. Come on, Andy. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Soft lock. It's not going to happen. Come on, buddy. Wait for it. Wait for it. No. Dang. No, he's fine. So that door do to I get into the room with that staircase Andy just went up, if the torches if one torch goes out and that door closes on the exact same moment that you go up the staircase in the middle of the room every single sprite in the game despawns which means there's no moldorm which Wasn't means there's no validation chest mm -hmm. which means not only can normal people not get across the gap because there's nothing to hookshot but also dude this moldorm though <laughs> <no validation. laughs> Hold on, you, you can see me raise my hand and be like, what the fuck is this? That staircase Andy just went up. If the torches, if one torch goes out and that door closes on Yo, the exact cash. same moment the that button, you go up the staircase you. in the middle Your of the emotes, room, give my boy here, every thank single you. sprite in the game Alright, so you're gonna see me go like, what the fuck? Which means there's no moldorm, <laughs> which means there's no validation chest, mm -hmm. which means not only can normal people not get across the gap, because there's nothing to hookshot, but also no <laughs> Moldorm was giving him a chance there. Ooh, he almost owned the me there, too. have been informed they will be validated. <laughs> you know he was going to um, do that. Have you guys ever thought about how cool Andy is? <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Right? He's is so, so cool. cool. <laughs> I think my I think I gained right, so I think I increased here. my lead on Chris Andy the, the using tower. the bug net. Ooh. Well hold on, we could check that. Hold on. Like not including the Agnum 2 fight. So you know he was going to do that. Have you guys ever thought about how cool uh, Patty was Andy doing commentary is? for this Holy round. He didn't have any <laughs> himself, though. Right? He is so cool. <laughs> All right, so we're coming up on Agnum 2 here. Andy, using... Please. <laughs> so, 136.31... Where I get the big key. That's too far back. Okay. Wow, Andy not even hovering over the gaps. What a loser. Chris dodging some. Uh... Oh! So, uh, big key at 132.18. Five? Chris got big key. I'm almost a minute ahead, a little over a minute ahead at that point. On the exact that it takes magical. 
You know he was gonna do that. Have you guys ever <laughs> thought about how cool Andy is? Holy <laughs> moly. <laughs> right? He is so cool. <laughs> All right, so we're coming up on so Agnum cool. 2 here. Andy using the bug net. Ooh. Magical. There's one. The only problem with using <laughs> the bug net here is that it takes forever for the bug net to go around, whereas the hammer is very quick comparatively. Well, nah. that's three. We're halfway I was there. so mad I missed oh, that man. one. Surprised he's not using the, the, the bug net dash. It's always hilarious to see. Oh, there's a double, which is impressive only in this mode. <laughs> <laughs> so, we haven't really talked about it too much, but uh, the race I isn't over did not. yet. Oh, absolutely. Going in, I rolled out Cannon going right in my head. Without a sword. Even though I know Chris goes right. one of the most if ridiculous. He gets Stupid things. I don't think Chris was too happy with that. <laughs> well, I think the, the first That's iteration, too much time. we're going to just put a sword in that last chest of the game. like 10 seconds. Oh. And then we said, on him. why? Let's just make it so you can Going use the hammer to kill Ganon. Ganon, so. Ganon saying something a little morbid there at the beginning. <laughs> And of course, a hammer basically works like a tempered sword. And there's me Which, going like, hell yeah. I got the good RNG 20, for face two. Tempered sword slashes. Oh, wow. And taking advantage <clears throat> of that top right spawn, that's like the perfect place for him to be. That was that was some of that good 12. good. That's, that's 24. It's 12 and 12. 12 plus 12, 24. Yep, uh, I don't think that's three. Three. No, that's not right. That's not right. I don't, check your math again. Check it. <laughs> Chris, Chris is getting kind of unlucky with the third Aghanim energy ball. Yeah, we're having to see the hammer strats on him. And it is definitely tougher. Oh, it's, it's the way... Getting, getting the angle right really is the, mm -hmm. the tough part there. Ooh, there's oh, a double. Nice double. A much more impressive double from Chris. Then... <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> All right. One silver. Are we getting a double? There's a double. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. This could be it. Oh. There he is! <clears throat> Sorry, Patty. <laughs> it is a sad, sad day here at AGDQ. <laughs> nah, that was, that was a great race. I like how you can't uh, see the time. Fish. Congratulations to Andy taking Sorry. game one. Uh, oh. Taking game one of the finals here. Taking of the, game of one of, of one. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy getting the crowd to to that stand up. <laughs> you guys are adorable. <laughs> and I pull my chair over to. Have a nice watch. All right, now that they can hear what I'm saying, I have to be uh, a, a little more cognizant of that. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. And <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh I watch Chris die. I think he dies. <laughs> <laughs> so I looked at the. I, I was like, "Do you have that blue potion still?" And he's like, AGDQ "I don't know." Went. I believe in his ability to dodge Grats. fire bats. I really do. Um, Yohogi oh. with the eight months of Twitch Prime in a row. Oh, you gotta be quicker. Oh. <laughs> that's uh, that's sort of those. Uh, thank you very much, Hogi and Godrin. <laughs> Who play? <laughs> was that you, Patty? Did you play that MLG Airhorn? God. <laughs> oh my god. There's a real spot right there. Nice lineup. Just kind of hustling on your green back against the wall. Not left or right. 
If you notice there, he actually sat there for a second. Andy, that's Andy, because Andy, the Andy, 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 Command Andy, 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 <laughs> Such a good race. This was my favorite part this year. Yo, he with the two thousand biddies. Thank you very much, he I appreciate it a lot. Goodness gracious. Thank you very much, bud. I appreciate it a lot. Hope you hope you've enjoyed patio, this rewatch. Patio, 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 <laughs> patio, 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 patio. Dude, I need to put some furniture on my patio, actually. Um, <laughs> Shibushi, thank you for the two thousand bits, bud. Glad you enjoyed the race. It was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> and Teal Knight, thanks for the hundred bits, bud. I appreciate it. It's Trident, so there's no point. And hitting him with a hammer. Exactly. Because he he knew he was already done with that phase. Lots and lots of tiny little things mm -hmm. that you gotta think about when playing this game. Because yeah, at that point it's just overkill for the first phase. <laughs> but some people, you know, at this point in the race, you know, let's say it's like a two and a half hour siege for you and you're like, I just wanna wail I mean, on it. So go ahead, yeah, Chris has that much health. Him, was it? Just keep it that was already done, was but you don't wanna you don't wanna just like take a death to gain and to get more health back. You wanna be like been playing for you know, two and a half hours. If I wasn't done, you wanna just minutes, show so that they're a little frustrated. Like, yeah. you, just, you just don't wanna like, you know, take a, a like cheesy death. That tells you where the silver arrows were in fair and square. Oh yeah, I probably wanna use those on you, don't I? Pretty big deal. Ooh, he got away. Go for the silver list. Sneaky piggy got away. Do the silver list. Oh, so close. One more to go. Did he? Mm, no. Nope. Nope. Hammer. When hammering up hitboxes, itty bitty. <laughs> there there it we is. go. Yeah, there we go. A big congrats to Andy for the win there. That was crazy, crazy good gameplay from both people. GG. This is a real good race. The fact that we were like GG guys. a minute apart entering into Agonin 2 is a big pretty thank ridiculous. you to GDQ staff for letting Randomizer in, uh, showcasing Seriously. A, a little bit of a different brand of sp speed gaming. Mm -hmm. Definitely find the Discord, come join us, play some Randomizer. Yeah, it's. It's, it's so fun just to sit down oh, with all I mean, your buddies. Ganon's real hard in Swordless. It's so fun just to sit down with, with two all your buddies hearts. and it's do a, hard a random fight. race. I'd be pretty it's nervous going easy. in with two hearts as well. But yeah, so find us on uh, Discord now and come kiss. play the randomizer with us anytime you like. All, we, there's so many different randomizers out there that are fun to play. We'll see you all there soon. Thank you to our runners. Bullshot. And uh, again... A huge congrats to both runners, especially Andy, for winning. That's Andy and Christos Owen. You can find them both on their Twitch channels. They're on screen. Uh, they play a lot of randomizer. Oh, well, they're not on screen anymore, but Andy and Christos <laughs> Owen. And uh, again, a big thank you to both of you guys for being thank here you. on commentary and letting me be on commentary. Thank you, Patty. Uh, Vitor, Willard J. Willard J. Braddy. Willard J. Braddy. Willard J. Bradley. <laughs> nice I'm one, Patty. Patty. And then, of course, our two trackers keeping track of the items the whole time. Yeah, shouts to In the Name of DDT and Phileon, and as well, once again, to all the randomizer community. Um, come play. Thank, Thank you, you guys everyone. so much for watching, yeah. and stick around for more awesome <laughs> speed games. Oh my god, I'm on TV. <laughs> yeah, one more time fun. for our commentators that and the good. trackers. That was a fun watch. And, of course, the runners, I mean, we already good. gave them a standing ovation here, though. But I am Prolix. Thank you so much for continuing to tune in here to but. Awesome Games Done Quick right. 2018 as we continue to get 